Okay, so the next thing that I have to do is now balance this and make sure it's properly balanced because there were some issues with balancing. But I've replaced the, the, uh, the shaft and I've replaced the bearings on this particular motor. So I don't need the arbor press for the next job. contraption of mine. And this homemade contraption is a motor balancer. Uh, there's all the parts to it. This thing is supposed to vibrate. And this is a mirror. And it simply sits like that. That's basically what it is. Okay, so we have our motor mount put onto the motor. And we're going to put, and now we're going to attach the motor and the motor mount to my balancing apparatus, whatever you want to call it. Now I know that some people, they like to use an iPhone app. Uh, there's an iPhone app that allows your iPhone to pick up vibrations. This is commonly used for people who live in earthquake sensitive areas and things of that sort. But you can also use it to pick up the vibrations coming from the motor, which thereby tells you whether the motor is balanced or unbalanced. Uh, I personally don't use such an apparatus. I or such a such a such an application. What I do is I use this apparatus because this does a very good job of picking up the vibrations from the motor. Um, and it actually doesn't cost anything to make it. The mirror is actually from a from a woman's uh, makeup compact case uh, that's been hot glued onto this piece of wood. And just over here is a laser pointer. This is the type of laser pointer that you can get at a uh, that you can get at a pet supply store or 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 a dollar store. I, I picked mine up at a dollar store because it is uh, quite cheap. So first things first, we're just going to attach the laser pointer into this uh, this device. This uh, I have a a vice uh, with a with a connector on it. Now I just have to determine where my laser is. Now I don't know if you can see that on the wall. You should be able to see that on the wall. Yeah, you should be able to see that, that laser dot right over there. <laughs> There's the laser dot. What I'll do is I'll turn this off and we'll have a better idea of what it's all going to look like. So we're going to turn on the radio. We're going to broadcast. And we're going to plug in the electronic speed control to my battery. There we are. All right, we're all powered up now. And now we're just going to spool it up. And we're going to watch that little... Uh, red dot on the wall. So if you notice, it has a little bit of the long there, right there, you see it getting long. That's not too bad. So there are a few ways that we can do. So what I like to do is I like to use this thing here. Uh, this is just a zip tie. I just place this over the motor. <clears throat> and we're going to see how, see what kind of changes this produces uh, in our vibrations. And now we see all the really, really bad vibrations. We don't even have to go up that high. So I'm going to move it just a little bit. I'm going to move it just um, about a quarter of the way down. Wow, 
that's really bad. Okay, gonna go again. <laughs> worse. Also pretty bad. That was our lowest. Even lower. A little bit more. Okay. So now, obviously, this this is still quite. This is too bad uh, for us to use uh, like this, and we're not going to keep that that zip tie on there, anyways. Um, it's just a bad idea to keep it there. What we're going to do, now we're going to remember this spot here, as we know that the, that the zip tie is here, and we're now going to take this piece of outside mounting tape. This is a double-sided mounting tape, very sticky stuff, and works really well. And we're going to just fool around a bit until we can get that right. Look at that. Now we have virtually no movement whatsoever. So let's try moving it just a little bit and see if we can make any differences. So we moved it back a little bit. Yeah. I think we just lost our piece anyways. Just gonna spool this up again. So that's not bad either. That's pretty good. I, I think we've managed to find our sweet spot um, right around there. And now it's a matter of tweaking the size of the piece of tape we're gonna use. It's a big piece of tape, just for curiosity's sake. So you can see that that's way off. So obviously that piece of tape is just way too big. Now we go through a bit of this stuff in order to do this process, which is unfortunate, but, um, but it needs to be done. So for starters, I'm going to try a very small piece, just about that big. And we're going to see if we can get this right. I'm just going to put it on the side of the motor where we have the least amount of vibrations. Okay. And let's try a second piece and just see if we make that uh, go away a little bit more. That's almost dead on. So we're somewhere right in between there. So I'm going to use a slightly larger piece. I'm going to remove the other two pieces. I'd like to put these inside the can, but unfortunately there's no room. Some motors allow for that. Some motors do give you a bit of space between the magnets and some don't. These particular motors don't. So our little counterweights are going to be on the outside and they're always going to be on the inside. Doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't matter. Right, so that's really close, but that's just a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little bit off.
and see if this makes a difference. If you're using a knife against your motor, rock the knife back and forth and uh, don't try and slice it because you'll just end up scratching your motor. Uh, if you're like me, you don't like to scratch your motors. Okay, we're going to try again. Oh, might have gone too small maybe. I'll try moving this just a little bit over. least amount of movement so far. So I think we've really narrowed it down to the exact spot. I'm just going to take a little bit more material off. Take a little bit more of the mounting material off. I'm going to try again. Okay. So we now know that we need a slightly bigger piece. Go. Give this a shot. Okay, let's watch our our little laser. I would say that's perfect. Okay, and that's how we balance a motor. Now there's always going to be some small amounts of vibrations here and there, tiny, tiny amounts. We try to get rid of them as much as we possibly can. You really got to get rid of these if you want to make this right. Um, now, what I use in addition to this is, um, of course, I, I add some mounting material under the camera as well. That will help to absorb vibrations. Uh, there's several things that you can use, and most of them are related to sound. Uh, because sound is, of course, vibration. <clears throat> one material that one can use are earplugs. Earplugs are great at uh, dampening vibrations. And another material out there uh, is called moon gel. And this you can get at a, at, at a music store. And moon gel also does a good job of, of absorbing vibrations, uh, which thereby prevents the vibrations from going into the, into the camera. <clears throat> Uh, there is silicone pads and there's even silicone mounting uh, pieces as well. These are probably the best out there, but you tend to pay quite a bit more money when you're using these. Okay, so there we go. That's um, basically how you take apart a motor, how you remove the bearings, how you remove the shaft, and how you balance a motor. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.